So now we're going upstairs to my bedroom. I'm going to show you this picture, which I really love. That is a very large painting by someone called Benjamin Butler. And I love his work very, very much. I love the color of his work. I love the color of this. It's sort of really mysterious and gray and kind of warm, right? I also love this pattern and this kind of like tree of life thing that's going on. And he does this, he did a series of this, right? This is sort of a big inspiration to him. Actually, this is a really good picture too. These are two really good pictures. It's a Myra Kalman portrait of Vita Sackville West, right? Look at Vita, right? See how chic she is. And then this is, I forgot her name. She's an artist, but can you get the fact that this is glittery? I love it so much. Speaking of Myra Kalman, here's another good one. I have a lot of good pictures that Myra has done of women. This is Edith Sitwell by Myra Kalman. Here's another really good Myra Kalman. This is my, one of my favorites. This is in my top three pictures of Myra that I absolutely love. This is a picture of, look, it's Kitty Carlisle Hart. See? And I remember the day we went there to visit Kitty, right? And she came out in a robe, you know, one of those kind of quilted zip-up robes. And then she was whisked away and somebody changed her into this, like pink suit with the pearls and the little black pumps and everything. Too good. That's Kitty. So this is something I love. This is a beautiful abstract painting by someone that I collect too called Pamela Jordan. And, you know, I love her work because it's like depressing until you realize that there's a silver lining, right? Um, and I also love her color sense. I love the black that she uses. Can you tell? It's like sort of this wonderful, these different textures of black. It goes like shiny and scratchy and rough. Anyway, I love Pamela Jordan. Oh, look, it's me in the mirror. I, this is something I bought at a flea market, right? It's a red picture, just monolithic red. And then here is something that Arnold got, which is like this beautiful Rene Gros poster with red lips. So it's like red picture, red lips, right? Actually, speaking of things from flea markets, this picture, or I don't know if I found it or my friend Stephen found it, but it ended up in this house and I just love it. Isn't it great? It looks like Juan Gris or something, or like, isn't it wonderful? It's like a study of squares of colors. I just adore it. And this is my little work studio. Isn't it so cute? I do sketches in here sometimes. Such a cute little room. All right, now here's a funny room in my house. It's like a sort of a guest room. And then here, there's this massive picture, and it's Lisa Sandeets. And I just love it. Speaking of, you know, like, you know, the world is coming to an end, only there's a silver lining because of the colors. Like, what about these colors? Right? Don't you just love those? And then here's something really wonderful. Now, this makes me insane. These are these pictures of Teletubbies that my friend Laura's daughter made when she was like a tiny little girl. And I just love them. I think they're the best Teletubby pictures I ever saw. And you know, I live for the Teletubbies, right? And by the way, that's Dean. Hi, Dean.